Hello everyone, this is Lionel Pindu of Analytics University. In this particular video, I will be explaining to you what is a stock market index, how is this index computed, what are the constituents of a stock market index, and I have added a small quiz which will help you ensure that you have understood the concepts more clearly. What is a stock market index? A market index say example uh, Nasdaq or a Dow Jones Industrial Average is a composition of stock 30 stocks or 50 stocks and as and when the prices of, of, this, of the constituents change the market index rather the value of this index keeps changing so just to give an example if the Dow Jones Industrial Average is today at 15,000 it actually reflects the market capitalization of of the constituents of the Dow Jones Industrial Average and if it increases tomorrow it means on an average the market cap of the constituents of this particular index has increased similarly when it decreases since this index the the stocks that are chosen for the index are generally large corporations the movement of this particular index acts as a benchmark to represent the overall financial markets rather the performance of the financial markets and since corporations are a major component since the financial health of corporations is a major component of the economy the financial market indicators rather the stock market index the movement in stock market index tells us how the overall economy is doing the constituents of this index change over time and rightly so, so that, so that they reflect the true behavior of the economy. I have also mentioned a few important major stock market indexes below. And how is an index computed? So the value of an index is computed based on the free float market capitalization of each of its constituent stocks. And this helps us to assess the return of the index at any given later point of time. And on what basis are the stocks that represent the index chosen? They are chosen based on the free float market capitalization. Say, since you've got thousands of stocks, the question will arise as to which stock should I choose to represent this index? So the biggest stocks in terms of the free float market capitalization are chosen. And just to reiterate, free float market capitalization is uh, only takes into account the percentage of stock of that company which is not held by promoters because what is held by promoters is actually not available for trading and hence it doesn't help in the price discovery mechanism and other parameters that are taken into consideration are liquidity, impact cost liquidity and impact cost in simple terms what they mean is that the cost of acquisition rather the the transactional cost what do we call it as not the stock of the price but the transactional cost is very minimal and it, the ease of it is very easy to buy or sell the stock and the above, above conditions which will ensure you that a diverse set of stocks do become a part of the index there is just why it is so because just give an example just to give an example you will always have big companies in every index and all the all the big companies won't be, or rather you will always have big companies in every sector and it, it, it does it's not it's very unlikely that all the biggest companies are only there in one sector. So what I'm trying to tell you is that you'll always have a Microsoft in, in the IT industry, uh, you'll have an Apple in the digital economy industry, similarly you'll have Shell Corporation, you'll have Walmart, you'll have Golem, Goldman Sachs, MX. So you'll always have big companies in every sector and hence uh, it it's a very diverse representation, index is a very diverse representation and health, hence it'll Hence, it also helps you to gauge how the overall economy is doing. How is an index computed? Here you have the competition. I have shown mathematically how an index is computed. So just that we have a Dow Jones Industrial Average and Nasdaq, let's also create an index. Our index will have only five companies for simplicity's sake. And I mentioned what is the market price per share of each company, the total outstanding shares. Total market capitalization is obtained by multiplying the shares, total outstanding shares, with the market price. And 
just say the total free fruit outstanding shares of apple corporation are only 50 so uh, when uh, for for an index only the free fruit shares are considered because the shares sold by promoters are not considered rather yeah so that is uh, that is why uh, i mean uh, that is why i created these two columns free fruit market capitalization and uh, total free fruit outstanding shares and obviously free fruit market capitalization obtained by multiplying the total free fruit outstanding shares by the market price per share and uh, so the last column is weight so what weight is weight is nothing but the ratio of the free float market capitalization of of that particular stock to the free float market capitalization of the overall index so in this case why apple has a weightage of 4.9 that is because the total free float market capitalization of apple is 500 dollars and the overall free float market capitalization of all these five stocks together is 10,250. So the weight of Apple is 500 by 10,250. So, which also tells you that uh, the weight will always be 100, that the number of weight, the overall weight will always be 100. The contribution, rather, weight, the other term for weight is contribution. The contribution of each of this stock can change because tomorrow, if Apple's free float market ca capitalization increases to 1000. So then uh, the contribution of Apple will be 1000 upon 10,750 because you need to add that increase of 500 to the denominator as well. And then the weight of Apple will increase say to 7.5. So this weight, the, 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 the value, the weight of each of the stock to the index can change. So this numbers 4.9, 22.0, 39.0 can change tomorrow to 5.3. 22.5 etc but the overall weight will always be 100 so that is the weight for you the other important parameter that i want to mention over here is uh, so that is the weight then you have something called as index value so let's let's presume that the the index the value of the index is 100 so today whatever the total free float market capitalization is that is 10250 uh, I'm just taking that the index value of 10,250 is 100 because that is like my benchmark because today I'm creating the index. So indexes are uh, generally begin at 100 or 1000. So I'm beginning my index, at, the index value at 100. And tomorrow, if uh, when, the, when the stocks trade and if all the stocks appreciate or if some appreciate, some depreciate, but whatever, if the index value increases from 10,250 uh, to in, say just say it increases by 5%. To 10,750 or maybe something like that. So, which means my index value will increase from 100 to 105 because the market capitalization, the free float market capitalization of the constituents of my index has increased by 5%. And hence, my index value will increase from 100 to 105. So, index value can change every day because index value only depends on the free float market capitalization of all the companies of the index so the index value can change but remember the total weight of the index that is this number uh, that is that will always remain remain 100 so just to summarize over here the index value will change when the free float because the because the price per share changes and hence the free float market capitalization will change and hence say uh, just to gi give an example dow would have been at 100 at some point of time in history and today it is at 15000 so the period of time that many times the overall market capitalization of the constituents of the Dow Jones Industrial Average is increased. But uh, the total weight will be 100, but the con the weight of each of the stock to the index can vary daily. Quiz. So I added one quiz over here just to ensure that you have understood the concept clearly. Say now uh, this index was created on Monday and it's the index value was 100. Now today is a Tuesday, so the stocks get traded and the price of each of the stock has changed as below. So Monday is what it was over here and today it's different. Today on Tuesday it has changed, so Apple has changed $11, Amex has changed $14. So each of the stock, the price of each of the stock has changed. The total free fruit alternative shares obviously are going to remain the same and because the price per share has changed. Um, the market capitalization will change and since i told you earlier even the weights are going to change so 
and uh, since the price per share changes and since the market capitalization changes the index value will change because the to overall market capitalization uh, added over here right i put a question mark overall what is it market capitalization of index that will be different compared to what was on monday so corresponding the index value will increase just the way when the price when the dow jones when the, when the components of dow jones industrial average change their price this is a price change the value of the dow jones industrial average will change from 15000 to say 15100 whatever so the three things are going to change over free float market capitalization is going to change weights are going to change and uh, the index value is going to change but never let this overall weight will will obviously remain 100 but I still put a question mark so you will find it for yourself and so so this is the picture so you can you can uh, the answer the solution is of course in the next slide but if you want if you want to answer this questions to yourself the three questions that i have asked over here you can pause over here answer them answer them and then go to the next slide to verify if you have got them right so let me go to the next slide now okay so here you have the price was changed from on monday from monday to tuesday It was ten dollar on Monday for Apple. It's eleven dollar on on Tuesday for Apple. The free float outstanding shares are remaining the same, and obviously, so now what the first question is: What is the market capitalization of Tuesday of each stock and overall market cap? That's a very simple uh, question. So what you do is you multiply the price with outstanding shares, and you get the market price, market cap. So it has changed from five hundred to five hundred fifty dollars. Similar for each of these companies, the market cap has changed, and hence the overall market cap has changed from ten thousand two fifty to ten thousand five hundred thirty. And now, the second question: Has the weight changed? Yes, the weight has also changed because the weight is nothing but the free float market capitalization of the stock to the overall free float market capitalization, and which is it is four point nine yesterday for Apple. And today it has changed to five point two, because five fifty divided by ten thousand five thirty is five point two. Similarly, it has changed for other companies, but the overall weight will always be hundred. Okay. So the third question: What is the index value today? It was hundred yesterday. What is it today? Okay. And I have given that answer at the bottom. Since the index value on Monday was hundred for a free float for for a free float market capitalization of ten thousand two fifty. On Tuesday, since the free float market capitalization has changed, remember this term change because it can increase or decrease. In our case, it has increased. It has changed to ten thousand five thirty, and hence this index value today is hundred and two point seven three. How is it computed? The formula is simple. It is P into one plus R. So yesterday the index value was hundred, and today it has changed to. Ten thousand five thirty minus ten thousand two fifty by ten thousand two fifty. That is nothing but so ten thousand ten thousand two fifty. So that is your return. So P into one plus R. It is hundred into one plus R. The return rate, and hence you get the value of hundred and two point seven three. So this is the way. What how an index is computed. This is the way how. The weights of the index are computed, and and I hope now we'll be able to easily understand. Since I've since I've got the intuitive meaning of an index, and and if someone tells you that yesterday Dow Jones was at fifteen thousand, today it has increased to fifteen thousand five. Know that what that means is it has increased by three percent. So that is what an index means. So so this way the index just one number. Helps you understand how how the financial markets are performing. At least it gives you a very fair idea. And since uh, the constituent of the index are big companies, and big companies have a major share in the overall free float market capitalization of all the listed companies. Just to give an example, the Indian uh, stock market index Nifty Fifty. It has got only fifty stock, and its market capitalization to the market capitalization of more of all the 1500 plus odd listed companies that ratio is 